What's going on guys? So I made a video the other day talking about joining the army with a medical issue and the reason why I made that video was because I get a lot of questions asking me saying I have this medical issue in the past or present. Can I join the army? Do you think that's going to be an issue? So I decided to make this video and talk about you know for the most part yeah you should be able to do it. Certain certain medical issues are not okay you know if it you know prevents you from doing anything physically um, you're probably gonna have an issue with that and I also talked about telling your recruiter about the medical issue and should you or should you not tell your recruiter um, and I got a whole lot of questions on this I got a lot more than I thought I was gonna get I think maybe I just wasn't clear enough in the video about when and when not to tell your recruiter or what things are going to be okay I wanted the video to be kind of self-explanatory but this video I want to really just kind of nail the thought in of what you should tell your recruiter what you shouldn't tell your recruiter or what you should uh, you know be okay with or, or what you should do in general if you do have some kind of medical issue right now now the first thing uh, that I don't think I covered in the first um, episode or first video that I made the other day is if you have medications right so if you're taking medications for anything like if you need a medication for anything you have got to bring that up because if you have to take that medication to basic training you're not going to be able to have it with you because you're not going to have any documentation or anything for that so if you have medications at all you're going to have to bring that up otherwise you're not going to be able to have that medication now they're still going to put the medication in like a ziploc bag and give it to the drill sergeant and you'll just have to ask the drill sergeant for it every day because they don't want you to like overdose and take too many of this that and the other so the pills or whatever you have is still going to be with the drill sergeants but you're not going to be able to do that unless you have the documentation the other thing i talked about was injuries past injuries should you bring that up to your recruiter well um i myself had an injury before i joined the army and it was um, one of the bigger injuries in my life but i didn't bring it up to the recruiter because i didn't think it was really a big deal i did go to the hospital for it because it was one of the worst injuries i've had what I did was, was when I was doing dumbbell bench press, I tore something in my right shoulder and I had gone to the uh, doctor. I did a little bit of physical therapy. It wasn't really much physical ther therapy. All it really was was just like some stretching and stuff like that. And they had told me, you know, if it, if it doesn't get any better in a week to come back and we we're going to do an MRI. And it didn't feel any better after a week, you know, and it bothered me for a while, but I just never went back. And you know, I didn't think it was gonna be too big of an issue. I'm not really one for going to the hospital. It was actually the, the first time I've ever been to the hospital for anything. And so I was just like, you know, it'll heal on its own, right? Well, you know, it healed on its own. I didn't really have any serious, you know, documentation or anything about it whenever I went to the recruiter to talk to him you know I was fine I could still do push-ups and all that stuff and you know it doesn't really bother me now I can still do a bunch of push-ups I can still bench press heavy weights and stuff like that um, so that's kind of my story but let's say that I had a bigger issue and I just totally just had a, a really bad issue I tore my rotator cuff had surgery did all these things like if you've had surgery you're probably gonna have a scar so you're gonna have to bring that up but if I had surgery and I'm, I'm probably going to want to bring that up to my recruiter like for sure it could be some issue later on down the road but if you have like that serious documentation i would definitely bring that up um because like if anything comes up in the future you kind of want that to be on your record now for me in my situation there's really nothing on my record for my shoulder injury another injury i had was whenever i was a kid i hit my head really hard i fell off of a tree and hit my head on a brick right that was just when i was a kid I didn't go to the hospital I maybe probably got a concussion but I'm not gonna tell my recruiter about it so um, that was just a long time ago it doesn't affect me now but like if you have something that physically uh, impairs you to do anything I would definitely bring that up because you can get waivers for this kind of stuff pretty much you can get a waiver for really anything in general um, you know age you know you do drugs you could have gone to jail for something and get a waiver for that there you can get waivers for a lot of things so you know don't be scared to bring things up to your recruiter just call them and ask them 
you know, I have this issue. I'm taking this medication. I have proof documentation, doctor's note. You know, I have a doctor's note saying that, you know, this injury that I had is fine. You know, I broke this leg. My leg's fine. I can still run and do all this stuff. You know, I have documentation saying from a doctor that I'm okay. Just bring that up to a recruiter. If you have any issue whatsoever, I'm not the doctor to talk to. I am not the person that's gonna, that you should really listen to whenever I say, you know, if you ask me a question, you know, should I tell my recruiter about this? You know, if you feel like you should tell them, just tell them. Um, I mean, if you're in a hurry, I mean, all right, so the thing here is if you're in a hurry to join the army, I know a lot of people are in a hurry to join, to get in. Um, it may slow some things down, but I mean, if you have an issue, you you just got to go through that. You got to go through that process. But if you're not in a hurry to join the military like next week, then just bring the stuff up. You know, it'll make the process longer because you just have to go get your documentation from the doctor. So um, it might just take an extra week, two weeks, three weeks, or whatever. But just just bring it up. I love answering y'all's questions, but you know, these kind of medical issues, things where, like, I can't really tell you what's right or what's wrong. I can only tell you like, if it's not an issue, if you feel comfortable, you know, saying, "Hey, this happened whenever I was a kid. It's just not an issue." then fine if you know for me i had you know nothing to talk about you know i checked no on every single box you know going down the list there's like a hundred different questions that they're going to ask you i checked no for every single thing so i had no other issue i mean if you have something just just bring it up i mean just just bring it up whenever you go to meps you will have that off of your conscience whenever you talk to them because at meps if you guys don't know they will be hammering you saying don't lie to me don't lie to me we're gonna send you to jail if you're lying to me so like for example me like if i would have told them that i hurt my shoulder at meps then they would have sent me home but it's not an issue so be careful of that a lot of people get caught up at meps whenever they tell somebody that some minor thing happened to them they will send you home from meps you will not go through the whole processing there so just keep that in mind so if it's already on your paperwork and you just want that off your conscience and you don't have to worry about that time whenever you were a kid and got a concussion or something like that just write that down but that's it for this video um i just wanted to clear the air on this i just wanted to answer all the questions or in one video response so i'm going to link uh the first video if you guys haven't seen that one but i'm going to link the other video to this video so if you're watching that i hope this kind of cleared all of the questions that you had about your specific issue because there's there's a lot of medical issues i'm not a doctor i know technology and the army i don't really know anything much outside of that right so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped you a little bit if it did hit that like button if you want to stick around for some more videos this is kind of like a little bonus video on a tuesday so that's good there'll be a video up tomorrow and i'll see you guys later Try.